My goodness. It is a beautiful sunny day. It may seem unremarkable, but it has literally been raining here for like three weeks straight. I'm gonna go out. We're gonna set some personal records today. It's gonna be a good day. Hit the personal records. Oh, all right. Time to head back. Oh. All right, I'm guessing these are ready to go out. Preliminary workout is over. Time to do the real thing. Oh. My current string length as it stands goes all the way up to my, uh, like my solar plexus. And I cut off the excess. And this is generally how the string looks when it's fully formed, right? So my tech combos, they look a little clearer, they look a little bit more visible, and everything looks like it's just stretched out. Unfortunately, this isn't ideally where I am comfortable. I would like to cut the string here versus here. So I'm adding like that much string length. This string length is what I'm used to. It's what I'm comfortable with. But something I've been realizing recently is that this makes my tricks look really small and it kind of makes these hop looking tricks it makes them look kind of kind of small and, and lame. So I've since lengthened out my string length to here. This isn't even that long to be honest, but it feels super long and I kind of hate it. I'm gonna do yo-yo practice, but I'm gonna do it outside. Packing going good, mama? Good. I'll be back in like an hour-ish. Oh, dang, it feels nice to just go walking without like torrential rain pouring down. So the whole long string thing, it's epic for like tech tricks, hook tricks, anything that requires a, a large display of what you're doing. Perils of long string is that it sucks for horizontal. Combos that I can land easily just fall apart. Now it's not always a detriment. There are like more sophisticated behind the back horizontal tricks that kind of need a longer string. There are also tricks that I thought were really difficult that aren't actually that difficult with a longer string. long strings also for like the last 20 minutes this has been building up literally this trash can it's been getting a lot of weird looks that was a good session all right clear ascents Ooh, updated glow in the dark ascents apparently these are glowing slightly stronger <sighs> now this whole short string, long string thing, it doesn't really matter that much, but it, it is me trying to reinvent myself as a yo-yo player a little bit. Uh, when I started yo-yoing, I was brought up in an era where like speed combos were the thing. Speed combos, horizontal combos, like that was what crushed competitions. And like a lot of the tricks I grew up learning were based off of that. And then throughout my like prime, I saw the tech world start to rise up, you know, players like Zach Gormley and, and Yanos Karans. Now we've changed again to like distinctive hooks and weird like zoning or whatever the hell that means. So, so I started yo-yo in 2009, so 10, oh my God, like, 14 years and it's interesting because out of those 14 years I feel as if right now I am in the equivalent skill level of a yo-yo who's only been playing for like three years That is the time spent on learning the relevant yo-yo tricks and this is why you see yo-yo players fall off all the time They've got a certain set of 
yo-yo tricks. They know how to do their era's yo-yo tricks and then yo-yo's, yo-yoing progresses and then one day you wake up and the tricks that you thought score don't score anymore. And what I've realized is that this isn't just a yo-yoing thing. It's, it's a YouTube thing, it's a social media thing, it's like a fitness thing, it's like everything progresses. You know, it's, it's kind of funny. On, on TikTok right now, the views, it's starting to go down. And it's freaking a lot of people out. They're like, oh my God, why is it going down? Like, why are the views tanking? And I'm like, this is what happens. Like, it happened to me with YouTube and unboxings before and it'll happen again. The only way you continue to grow upwards is you constantly, constantly have to reinvent yourself. Reinvent the yo-yo tricks you're doing. Reinvent the style of content you're making. Reinvent the exercise routines you're going. Push further and further beyond, adapt and change. Ooh. All right. Oh, look at that. I think this one glows way brighter than the other one. Okay, this is pretty sick. And something I've had to realize is that growth, reinvention, it's not fun. It's almost always uncomfortable. Like, for instance, using a long string, like, it sucks. I don't like it. And it's gonna take some time to get used to it. Filming TikToks, it sucks. It's cringe. I don't like it. It's gonna take some time to get used to it. Also, on a completely unrelated topic, I totally think these are ready. That is the end of uh, today's vlog.